Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, I am a digital marketer. I specialize in helping artists like yourself get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, like Instagram, like YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about today is how you can get inspired by the little pump plan. Now, this was a plan that was recently detailed in a viral article on Vulture in which the marketing guys behind Lil Pump pretty much talked about the process by which they used to blow him and other artists up, pretty much turning them into social media icons and social media celebrities. Now, I want to break down a few of the things that they talked about and talk about how you can start to utilize them in your own marketing plans and use it to benefit yourself and your own content. But before we get into all of that, come follow me on Instagram I make sure to leave my at name somewhere on the screen come talk to me come engage with me come give me some video ideas all of that now with that being said let's get right into it so like I was saying earlier the article pretty much detailed what was known as the Lil Pump plan which was a 10-step program that these marketers use to blow Lil Pump up now in it of course they didn't give all of the 10 steps they didn't want to give you guys the whole sauce but it did give us five key details that we can use to work with in the breakdown so that you can apply it to yourselves now in the plan they said that they use social media influencers world star placements memeing an artist or making viral content musically placed and creating fake beef now for the sake of this video we're not going to talk about creating a fake beef but what we're going to focus on is the meme content the world star placements and the social media influencers and we'll lump the musically influencers underneath all of that so what I want to do is break down each of them and let you know how they can be useful and beneficial to you and why they work so let's start with social media influencers now, social media influencers are something that I talk about all the time. They are pretty much the new age celebrities. Their name holds weight to their audience. So when you use a social media influencer to push your content out, it is essentially looked at as a validation to that artist and to those people who may know who you are. If they don't know who you are, then it's pretty much that influencer introducing you to their audience which once again, is no different than a cosign from a major artist. And the good thing about social media influencers is that they're literally everywhere. Like there's an influencer on every single platform, Twitch, Musical.ly, Triller, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. If there is a platform and there are people who need to be entertained or need some attention, there'll be influencers on that platform, I promise you. So it becomes a matter of finding out which influencers work well for you, right? Like what influencer has an audience that will be receptive to your music? What influencer has an audience of people that would like like you and your content that you can consistently use to keep putting yourself in front of those same people. Like I was saying earlier, they're pretty much the new age celebrities, so they are one of the best ways to get in front of a large group of people and to get some cultural validation. Now another big component of the Lil Pump plan is to meme an artist or what I like to call viral marketing. And this is pretty much taking a piece of viral content that either the artist creates or creating a meme centered around that artist or his content and then using different viral content distribution pages to get that content out in front of people. It could be a meme page, it could be a viral sports card page, it could be a viral cat page, whatever the content is, however it makes sense. Now the reason that this works is because it's a very passive way to market your music to audiences without being too intruding right like if I see your song on a meme and I like that meme I'm more likely to go check the song out than if you were to directly promote yourself in front of me because I feel like you're trying to market yourself to me it doesn't feel natural it pretty much feels like you're running some type of marketing campaign on me right or that's how it can feel if I've never heard of you but with a meme it just feels like this is a funny piece of content that I found on my favorite meme page that happens to have a song attached to it now another thing about this is that sometimes the meme can move faster than the music now think about the way meme culture is think about how fast something can go viral like something can literally get posted on twitter today and be viral by the end of the afternoon so when you create a good piece of viral content and it has your song attached to it and it takes off that is essentially your song taking off with it the more it gets reposted the more people are talking about it the more people are sharing it with your friends the more your song starts to spread out in once again a less passive less intruding way and the last thing i want you guys to focus on out of the little pump plan is to get channel placements for your content and for yourself. Now, in that article, they talked about Worldstar placements, but I don't think everybody needs to go to Worldstar. 
one, Worldstar isn't for everybody. Like, not everybody content will fit on Worldstar. It is definitely for a very specific group of people. And secondly, Worldstar placements can definitely get pricey. Now, I've never personally gotten anything placed on there, but I've heard rumors, I've seen stories of placements on their YouTube channel starting at $8,000 and only going up from there. Now, the beautiful thing about YouTube and the internet as a whole is there's literally a channel for everything, right? And with channels, it's once again an established audience, and these YouTube channels and these music channels specifically today act like networks almost like a BET or like an MTV and that's the way that their audience sees these channels now it comes down again to finding a channel that fits your content finding a channel that has an audience that will be receptive to you and your music and your content and then once again consistently getting yourself placed on these channels over and over again so that these people start to become familiar with you now using all these things in conjunction is how you start to kind of build some type of cultural awareness amongst a small group of people essentially building out your fan base doing it all over and over again until these people start to become fans of you and actually want to check out your music your content and support you so there we have it guys those are the things that i want you all to get inspired by out of the little pump plan like i said when used in conjunction all these things can make for a great social media campaign a great social media marketing plan especially if you're doing it consistently and putting yourself in front of these same audiences over and over again on a consistent basis now if you want to check out the vulture article that inspired this video i'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description below go read it go check it out let me know what you think let's talk about it now as always guys if you feel like you learned anything today please like and share this video hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey and I'll see y'all next time.